very warm welcome to you and to beginning the day with God for this season of Easter. We've just been listening to a piece of music by Christopher Ty, O Come Ye Servants of the Lord. Today is Thursday the 11th of May. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. Yesterday I was crucified with Christ. Today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I was dead with Christ. Today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with Christ. Today I am waking with him from the sleep of death. Many waters cannot quench love. Neither can the floods drown it. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If all the wealth of our house were offered for love, it would be utterly scorned. Glory to the Father, and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Many, Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Our reading this morning is taken from 1 Peter Chapter 2, starting at verse 11. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and exiles to abstain from the desires of the flesh that wage war against the soul. Conduct yourselves honourably among the Gentiles, so that, though they malign you as evildoers, they may see your honourable deeds and glorify God when he comes to judge. For the Lord's sake, accept the authority of every human institution, whether of the emperor as supreme or of governors as sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to praise those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing right you should silence the ignorance of the foolish, as servants of God, live as free people, yet do not use your freedom as a pretext for evil. Honour everyone, love the family of believers, fear God, honour the Emperor. We come now to our reflection on this passage. The time is always right to do what is right, said Martin Luther King Jr. Though this begs the question of knowing what is the right thing to do. Today's passage commends a long list of behaviours that seem very conforming and following legal and political power, apparently without question. It's hardly the countercultural stance that was put before us before. Then comes the difficulty of how to read the apparent condoning of slavery 
which is in the verses that follow the ones we've just heard. However different the first century's particular context might be from more recent forms of enslavement, this is now abhorrent to us, and rightly so. Does this mean that we stand with contemporary culture against the Bible? Perhaps the answer lies in the call to be servants of God and to live as free people. This is the freedom to develop our own true identity and self-understanding through the liberating power of the gospel and freedom to engage with the world on this basis. Such freedom entails knowing our identity comes not from the culture around, nor from its legal and political structures. Instead, we are released from those constraints by being aliens and exiles. As citizens of heaven, we live under the rule of the servant king, whose service is perfect freedom, as the prayer book Collect for Peace puts it. This provides us with the integrity to discern and to do what is truly right. Amen. Let us pray. God of the living, by the resurrection of Christ, you restore your people to eternal life. Give us constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt your intent to keep the promises which you have made. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to you and all ages. To you be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Amen.